Good morning, welcome back to BT. There's a spell on Lower Fort Gary that is magically in a witchy way turned into Lower Fort Scary, at least for the upcoming weekends. And our buddy Drew Kozub has given us a preview there. Good morning, Drew. Maybe this is a bad idea that I've come here today. I mean, if there's this epidemic that's going around, I, I don't even think I'm dressed properly for this. Guys, it's the last so time we mean? get to talk. It might be, because something has taken over Lower Fort Gary, right, Drew, and it's infecting everyone. That's right, so let's uh, proceed with caution here. I'm going to introduce you to David Lavely from Parks Canada. First of all, I was going to say thank you for letting us come down here today, but now I feel a little bit leery about being down here this morning as an epidemic is spreading during the Halloween season. That's right. For, for Friday at the Fort, which is our adult program, there's, uh, there is an epidemic running through the fort. No one's sure exactly what's going on. Is it disease? Is it maybe some kind of malevolent spirit? and visitors can come out here and take a tour through the fort and, uh, and find out for themselves exactly what's going on. All right, now this is a really cool program that you guys are doing, and this one is geared, we should establish. There is one for kids, we'll talk about that one in a second, but this is a little bit more for, for grown-ups and, uh, and older people, right? That's right, so Friday at the Fort is geared towards adults, and we're, we're saying people uh, 14 and over. Okay, so gotcha. They take a tour through the fort, they stop in the different buildings, have different experiences. It really is a jump out and grab you kind of a scary experience. Uh, there's little plays that are gonna be put on, uh, there's the, the tavern, the friends of the Lower Fort Gary are running a tavern. People can buy Ooh. some refreshments, have a beverage. And uh, Fright at the Fort runs tonight, tomorrow night, and uh, Saturday night, as well as next Thursday and Friday from 7 to 11. Excellent. So some really uh, good times to be coming down. And it's a really interesting environment getting to be at Lower Fort Gary at night because this is not yes. something that everyone uh, gets to do, but you get to be in this really spooky setting and then get to see these sort of like different different stages set in these different historical buildings, right? It is. It, it really can be a creepy place in the dark. Uh, um, and it's... It's a national historic site, so our job is to protect and present it for all Canadians. But this is a way we can do it that's a little bit different than what we normally do in the summer. So it's a lot of fun. People can come out here, experience the fort, but experience it in a different way than, than they normally would. Yeah, and that's a good point, too, because when we come here in the summertime to take in the programming, it's very historically accurate, but this one, this is more fun. There, there was no epidemic sweeping, uh, no malevolent spirits uh, that we know of uh, attacking the residents of Lower Fort Gary. Nothing in the history books, okay. anyway. Okay, good, good, good. So we've taken care of the scary side of things, which is a really good experience, but let's say the families want to come out, and maybe they got some little ones. What do you have for that situation? This weekend, Saturday, Sunday from 1 to 4, we have Lower Fort Scary. So it's the same idea. People uh, come to the fort, they tour through, and there's all kinds of activities for kids. There's crafts, there's going to be the witch who's making her brew. Kids can help her with that. Uh, there's going to be some hot chocolate. Uh, at the end of it, kids leave, they get a goodie bag. Oh, that's so, a great yeah, deal. It's lots of fun. Yeah. Oh, really fun. Um, so uh, we're getting a tour around the fort, and I heard that there's going to be uh, some different people around. In addition to the interpreters, uh, kids might get to learn a little bit of magic. Maybe, that's right. Uh, there's a magician. Yeah. Get some uh, face painting done, perhaps. Exactly. Yeah, it's going to be a really fun day. They, they come here, they get a map. Uh, they go out to all the different locations and they get their Boo Pass stamps. So, okay, yeah. cool. All right, so they're uh, leaving with a little souvenir, going through the fort with a purpose. So they get to check out these historic buildings, getting to see the cool Halloween settings, and then walking away with a loot bag for a reward. Yeah, and it's spooky without being scary, so it's good for the family. All right, excellent stuff. So we've got uh, Fright at the Fort, which you mentioned, a couple opportunities to take care of that, and Lower Fort Scary this weekend only, correct? That's right, yeah. Just Saturday and Sunday this weekend, the 25th, 26th. All right, David, thank you so much. Thank you. If you missed any of those details, want some more information, or to connect with the folks here at Lower Fort Gary for the Halloween activities, you can do that through the BT website at breakfasttelevision.ca. We're taking a little break, but we continue our tour of Lower Fort Gary as we celebrate the Halloween season.